This is the park up from last night at Skipton. Long stay car park. There's quite a few campers here. Have a look. There's Columbus. Parked up there. There's Franny Innes. And he's went up traffic. There's Franny and Fury. Are you right, Franny? Hey. Are you alright, pal? Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, there's the other campers. Quite a few parks up on here. It's, fi it's five pounds for an overnight stay here. So. Uh, there's quite a few campers, so. If you're ever passing Skipton, right near the town centre it is. That's the town centre over there. So, yeah, great park up. Pity about the weather. It's absolutely pouring down. It's been like this from the early hours. It woke me up. But, there's a canal in the town centre over in that direction there. Great little, great little find this. I've known about it for a bit, but I've never been, but Franny has. So, there's Franny and Fury going for a walk. Right then, I'm going to get myself in, make myself a brew, and sort myself out and see what I'm going to do today. I think Franny's going back today, so... Yep, so I'll be all alone again. But it's been great company, Franny. We've had five days of travelling, really. Four days or something like that. So, all right, see you later. Bye bye. Franny and his dog Fury are going home now. I'll be catching up with him in a couple of days when I'm back in Preston. What's that? What's that? <laughs> see you in a bit, Fury. See you later. Cheers, Sound, Nick. Franny. A, yeah. a good adventure mate. Yeah, we'll be doing it again. Definitely. Yeah, have a safe journey Franny. Same to you, enjoy the rest of your trip. Sound pal. I'll give you about when I'm in, back in Preston. Yeah. See you in a bit Franny. There you go, Franny and his dog Fury are going now. They're going back to Preston. So... Right, right, let's get in out of the rain. It's all soaking wet, look. So, yeah, so I'm solo again in me, in Columbus. But I'm going to head, I think, towards Kirby Longsdale. I don't know yet. So, catch you later. Bye-bye. Right, we're going to... Get out to the car park, get on to the main road, head towards A59 and head towards, I forgot what A road it is, but it leads you to Cargrave, Settle, Ingleton and then Kirby Longsdale. So let's get going. out of Skipton now the rain's too heavy and we're going to have another film round Skipton town but the rain is too heavy and I've been wet through once today so like I say we're driving through Skipton we're going to head towards a little village called Cargrave when we get to Cargrave we'll see what the weather's like if it's still raining I'll give it a quick film round. But I don't it's only a very, very small village. There's only a few shops in Cargrave. But there's a nice river what runs through it. So when we get there, we'll see what it's like. So see you soon. Really? This is the last day. On the Yorkshire trip. 
because when we get just park near Ingleton, we go into Lancashire. So officially, the Yorkshire road trip will be over with. But never mind, there'll be plenty more coming on the horizon. I want to thumb the river. There you are. That's in Cargrave. Can you see? The water's high up on the bank in there. So it's been it's been rising high this tide so I'll go a bit further down here because it's getting absolutely soaking wet there's a dog going down to the river there but as you can see it's been raining hard and the river's very high it is very high I better go up because the pot of Columbus over there. So that just shows you how much water has been coming down. Oh, I've got to get in because I'm getting wet through. Coming to another village, it's called Settle. Uh, I need a post office to send some stickers off to uh, Chris and Izzy, uh, subscribers. So there's a post office on your right hand side, it says on my sat now. So I'm going to pull in there, sort that out, and go and film a bit round the village. But if it's raining too much, I'll see what the river's like. Because same here, the river runs through the village. just pulled over in the village of Settle. I went in like a, a local shop to get some milk and bread. But I, I had to film this because uh, with all the rain and everything, it looks like it's getting a bit high the river. Have a look at this. What a, what a lovely view. Settle Riverside. This is part of the River Ribble what runs all the way down into Preston where I'm from it's starting to flow isn't it with all the rain and everything it's starting to build up a bit Anyway, let's make our way back up here. Can you 
you see it hitting the storms and everything how all the rapids are starting to appear let's go and have a quick look on the other side we're just walking up to the bridge on the other side this side looks a bit better there's like a little waterfall going right across the river <coughs> but I tell you something it's flowing fast anyway it's in the village of Settle and look what it is the river Ribble it's in Settle in Yorkshire not so far from Kirby Longsdale let me zoom into this can you see it? Ah, it's flowing fast isn't it? Anyway, I've just looked at a sign then, it's, it's about a quarter of a mile past Settle, it's called Giggleswick, let me cross over this road, you can see the sign, because the shop I went to was in Settle, look, it's in Giggleswick. Right, come on let's get back in my van because I'm getting wet through. I'm only parked down here in Columbus. That's where I pulled over because I thought, when I crossed the bridge, I thought I'm going to film that. Yeah, I'm on my way up to Ingleton. It's classed as Yorkshire still. So, let's get in and get dry. I'm going to set off, we're heading towards Ingleton. I'm going to cut a lot of driving out because it's around 10 miles. So, see you when we get to Ingleton. I seen a park up when I was driving past. There were two campers on. I'm gonna see if we can park on there for a bit and have a bit of dinner. But we're in Ingleton now anyway. a sign up saying no parking permit holders only and there's a lot of cones out so I'm not going to stay here you respect the signs and let's move on we'll find somewhere else but the rain started to come down every now
Can you see the Ribble Viaduct? Let's head towards there. So I'm going to get closer to the Ribble Viaduct and try and get a little filming round there. There's the river, Ribble, and the viaduct in the, behind it. It's raining heavy now. So I'm gonna try, I might have a drive through the village. I'm going to take you for a drive round Ingleton Village. I'm not going to walk round, I'd love to, but the rain, it's heavy, there's nobody about due to the weather, so I'm going to drive you round. See you soon. I'm going to head towards the main road, it's the A65 from Skipton, to, takes you to Kirby Longsdale. So I'm going to get on that, I'm going to head towards Devil's Bridge, Kirby Longsdale. Before I hit the A65 to Kirby Longsdale, which also takes you to Kendall, I'm going to film you this Ribble Viaduct from here. That's the Ribble Viaduct. I've just zoomed in on my camera to show you from a different angle from top of the road. <laughs> now let's head towards the A65. Let's get to Kirby, Longsdale. Might as well drive you through Kirby Longsdale Village before I park up at Devil's Bridge. There's not a lot of people about in Kirby Longsdale. I've not hit the village yet properly. But don't forget, due to the weather probably.
it's only in the afternoon around oh it's quarter to two well due to the weather like I said there's nobody about I'm going to head out to Kirby Longsdale village now. I'm going to go to the park up. There we go. Coming past Devil's Bridge, we're going to be turning right. It's a good little park up. End of this road. There's always some campers there. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I've arrived at Kirby Longsdale. Yeah. When I set off from Skipton, I was going to go into West Yorkshire, but I've, the weather put me off really. The weather was hammering down, and I thought, should I go that way? And I thought, no, I'll go to Settle, calling it Settle, calling it Ingleton, but same again. I parked up for a bit, but the rain was heavy as heck. It was very heavy rain, so I thought, Let's go to Kirby Longsdale. I had a walk around Kirby Longsdale. It started raining again, so I ended up coming out here to Devil's Bridge to park up. So, I hope you enjoyed the video up to now, but I'm gonna stay here for a bit, and I'm gonna decide where to go from here. So, catch you later. Bye-bye. I chilled out for a bit. Later on, when it stopped raining, I decided to go for a walk. Hello everybody, I've arrived at Kirby Longsdale at the end of the Yorkshire road trip. The weather's been bad today but it's fined up this afternoon. So I said I went to uh, from Skipton, I went to some little villages, Settle, Ingleton, but it was absolutely pouring down. I managed to get a bit of coverage of it, but I'm gonna show you around the other part of here. So there you can see, that's where I'm parked. There's some other campers parked up as well. So let me just show a little tour around here. Can you see? Another camper there. And there's three campers parked there, so. Yeah, and that's where I've parked Columbus over there in the corner. Anyway. I'm going to walk down, I was here at the end of the Scottish trip, weren't I? That's when I pulled into Kirby Longsdale. But like you say, it's about R5 now. R5, 20 to 6, something like that. It's going a bit dusk. As you can see, there's no cars here. It's just a few, one, two, three, four, five. Six campers down there, and look at that, everybody. The moon's out, but it's blue sky now. It's been cloudy all day. It's been really cloudy, and oh, it's been heavy rain. It started last night when I was in Skipton, and it was raining all night, all this morning, and most of the afternoon. 
it's the quietest I've ever seen it this well don't forget it's knocking on people are finishing work going doing their own thing now I stopped off at Settle as you would have seen in the video and Ingleton but I only filmed going through it and in Ingleton I filmed the viaduct and a bit of the river and on the main road the river it got quite bad, bad really but well, anyway I'm going to cross over actually that river is flowing fast I'm going to see if we can get down to it here because that grass is muddy as hell anyway let's try and get down to here eh? and we'll have a look I've walked down onto the grass and that river is flowing fast in it no wonder well you'll know with the amount of rain we've had how bad it is I was going to go up on that bridge there on the main road but when I seen it high like this I thought I'd come down You can hear the river, the noise of it. Let's take a walk further to the bridge. can't really get any closer because it'd be too dangerous as you can see I'm on some rocks here but I'm higher up I don't want to go too far near the water Right, I'm just at the other side of the banking now. I'm not going to go any further because as you can see, it's very slippy going down. And I've nearly slipped about four times. But doesn't it look good that? Look at it hitting the rocks, breaking up. Brilliant. I was going to go on the main road bridge, which is over there, but it's better here, even though you've got to watch. Do you know, with holding the camera, filming myself, talking, and trying to get up this banking, it's hard work. Because this grass, it's like ice, because it's got all mud on it and everything, as you can see, look. 
look at it it's all full of mud so you've got to watch what you're doing or else you're going to end up going right down right let's get up here and get on the road look at this now look at the moon now to go up to it So there you go, before it goes dark. Fast flowing river at Devil's Bridge, Kirby Longsdale. I like that mate, the waterfall coming from the banking. Right, what I'm gonna do, if it rains, if it keeps raining during the night, I'll be down here tomorrow morning to film but we'll just see it's forecast rain later on but it's on and off so I don't know if it'll affect this or not uh, but if it does carry on raining I'll be down here tomorrow morning to show you but can you see if I zoom in here can you see the bank in there? Can you see it's gone over the banking round the trees? It's creeping up. It'll never get up that bank in there, but it's gone over the banking, it's gone round the trees there. Brilliant. That's a bit off, you see, it'll never won't get up to there. But Right, anyway, I'm going to get back to Columbus because I'm absol absolutely starving. I put some jacket potatoes in before and I'm going to have them. Jacket potato and tuna. So I don't know. So anyway... I'll show you round one more time. Can you see the main road where the cars are going over the bridge? The sun is setting over them trees. You see how dark it is now, can't you? So, anyway, I'm going to get back. I'm going to get a brew on and have them jacket potatoes. Good little park up here, Kirby Longsdale. I had another park up in mind, and it's a few mile away from here. A couple of mile away. Yeah, can you hear that drain flowing? That's a road drain. You can hear all the water in it. But I'm just gonna. Yeah, I was going to park up on a different park up, but I thought no, because it's more like of a pulling, a big pulling further down, and there's one right near the M6 motorway. But I thought no, I'll come here because it's quiet, and you always buy, you always find other campers over here. I'm not sports any because I've never not seen any of them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tour around that. I river. Well, I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.
I'm having steak and, and some pasta. Right, and I'm boiling them potatoes for my dinner and tea tomorrow. I've got bags of proper pasta underneath the cupboard. Some pasta, but when I went to Aldi last time, I bought about three or four bags of pasta. What you boil, and it's good for you because I'm going to start getting a bit healthy. I'm going to get a lot of uh, more fitness in. I'm going to start getting my fitness back when weather gets better. Start doing jogging, little runs, and when I'm in Preston, I'll be going to JD Gym. So not too bad. I've got to get me self sorted out because when you're living in a van you seem to just lack on a bit of that it's not like in a routine when you're living in an house and you're going to the gym and all that when you're traveling and you're getting places in a van it's hard so I've got to sort a routine out for fitness and lose a bit of timber I'm going to do this well done. Yes, yeah, so everybody, if you're watching my videos on YouTube and you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, Destination Unknown Van Life. So you know what it is, Destination Unknown Van Life. Also, I've set up Buy Me A Coffee, so if anybody wants to buy me a coffee, just click on it and follow it from there. Much appreciated, thank you. One well done steak for a change. And look at that, that's boiling nearly ready me pasta. But while I'm doing that, I get in the kettle, I put that on there, ready to make myself a brew. That is nice, very nice. So there you go, I'm going to make my brew, have my steak and have my pasta, there you go. I know it looks a bit boring but it's one of them things, until I can do a shop and everything tomorrow, I'll be right. Catch you later, bye bye. After my tea, I chilled out for a bit and I had a good night's sleep. Morning everybody. Well, I'm setting off from Kirby Longsdale. I'm going back to Preston. Uh, I need to do a few jobs on this, get my laundry done and sort a few, few jobs out. Yeah, it was a quiet night down here last night. So, had a good night's sleep and everything. I showed you around yesterday, but it's still the same, so. You get 
people jogging up here and all that. Well, it's a good little park up here. I park up here if I'm passing as a stop off. You know what I mean? So, anyway, there's an alarm going off there. Thanks for that. It's same as yesterday. I walk you around when I show you the river. So I'm going to get in Columbus and get on the road. So catch you all later. Bye bye. I'm heading towards the M6 motorway. I'm going to go to Preston to find a park up. Park up and sort myself out from there. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers and all the messages. I'm really grateful. Bye bye.